Today I was feeling like a delicate sweet boy. Um, I think in part I have some minor aches and pains that are nagging at me and I have a long day of work ahead of me and the burpee war is coming up and I know that that's going to be as ghastly a challenge as it always is and I just didn't have it. I just didn't have it in the tank, you know. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Basically, all I did today was single reps to a relatively high pin. I think I'm uh, 12 notches up, or relatively low pin, rather, for pin squats, or pin front squats. And I just um, went up to a heavy single. I got to 175, which is just 10 short of my max. Now, that would be a full front squat, ass to grass. And this is a little higher than that. And yeah, man, like kind of the same vibe as yesterday. I just, um, I couldn't get my blood up. I couldn't get really warm and I kind of just didn't want to be here, you know, but I get something in anyway, you know, and that's every day. And I guess that speaks to habit and routine a little bit. Like, like I don't feel human unless I get down here and do something, you know? It doesn't have to be anything great, and it often isn't. I mean, you're seeing literally every rep of lifting I did today, which I think amounts to maybe a dozen reps total. I'm doing some mobility work, and I'm doing some other stuff too, and I actually did a little crawling today, but I'm not, I'm not working hard. Today's a rest day, you know? And, you can question the wisdom of putting up near maximal loads on a rest day. And I think you'd be right to question that. But, um, like I wanted to, <laughs> you know, and my body at no point felt stressed. I, I at no point got in my nervous system, got psyched up. I gave myself a couple little slaps in the kisser just so that I didn't buckle when I had the bar on my throat. But that was it. Like... And even that, I didn't do necessarily to get psyched up. I did it almost, again, out of this sort of habit and routine. I think I like to hit myself in the mouth, <laughs> which that sounds crazy and bad, but also I just do. And, you know, it speaks to priorities. Like, I live for enjoyment. I live for my own longevity. I live for my mental health. I'm not really lifting for performance. Long gone are my dreams of being the greatest weightlifter or greatest whatever you have athlete. I, I, I don't entertain those fantasies anymore. I don't care about that. I don't want to be the biggest dog in the yard. Um, that's just not important to me. But getting down here, being down here, being alone for a little while, listening to my music. Today it was the Melvin's Stoner Witch. And I think I'll link it. I think I'll link it just so, <laughs> you know, if anyone cares to listen to what I listen to today and get in that vibe a little bit, uh, you have that option. And if you don't want to, hey man, it, it, what, what did it cost me? Five seconds? Now that I <laughs> know how to port those links, I don't see why I wouldn't do it. Um, so what am I driving at? You know, I just got done a relatively strenuous lifting period. I have a relatively strenuous cardio period coming up and I'm kind of in the doldrums in the middle of these two places and it feels good. I feel a little slow, a little lazy, but I also feel a kind of fire building and, uh, uh, in yoga, we call it Agni, you know? Um, that fire, which will catch come March 15th. Um, I'm excited about it. And I want it to be t t today. I want it to arrive already. But I'm also grateful for this down period, these soft moments, this easy work before something a little bit unreasonable begins. If you're interested in joining the burpee war, same as the last few videos, uh, follow me at 12th Annual Burpee War on Instagram 
or you can go to Yogi Mojo Jojo, which is in my profile. You can follow that link, and I'll direct you right there. The burpee war is awesome, man. Day one of the burpee war, we do one burpee. Day two, two. Day three, three. You have 20 minutes to complete your burpees for the day. In the beginning, this is a nothing challenge. By the end, you're smoked, you know? Uh, it's all honor system. There's penalties and whatnot. If you miss a day, if you miss two days, you're out. <sighs> we did it last year. Well, actually, this is the 12th year, but we did it last year on YouTube. A few of you followed along. I had like a dozen followers then, so, you know, <laughs> now it's a little different. But, um, and hey, if you don't want to do it, no hard feelings, man. You don't have to knock on the same doors I knock on. You know, this is your path of self-discovery. These are your rites of passage. You're writing the user manual for your body and your life. And it may not look anything like mine. Huh? We're all in on this life. We're all playing this game. Maybe we chose it, maybe we didn't. Who knows? Perhaps the Buddhists are right. Perhaps we were spirits in them. I got cut off. But perhaps the Buddhists were right. Perhaps we were spirits in the bardo together. And we selected this life. We selected these joys, these pleasures, and these hardships as these non-temporal spirit beings um, in the universe's, pff, what, endless quest to collect every experience. We chose these ones. We chose to be of service and to help that process. That's a terrible summary of what the bardo is, but you get the idea. Maybe we did that, you know? I, yesterday I said I was an atheist, and every time I say that in a video, I lose followers. <laughs> but the truth is, I'm not really an atheist, not in that strict sense. I'm an agnostic. I don't know. And I feel like where most of us are in that category, I just, I'm agnostic, and I happen to lean atheistic. Um, which is not the same as being an atheist, you know? Not really. And I should be more accurate in my speech. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, who knows what tomorrow will bring, you know? But um, be good to each other today, guys. You know, be kind as best you can. It's a rainy, drizzly day here in Savannah, Georgia. And I've got my last catering cake. I, I'm going to try hard. I'm going to try hard to be nice today, too. I'll see you tomorrow.